Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mika and today we're talking all about the queen, the legend, Sarah J Maas. There's honestly two reasons you could have clicked on this video. The first one being you are a simple gal, you see Sarah J Maas and you just click it. Or you probably have never read a Sarah J Maas book in your life and you want to understand what's the hype about, what are her series, what are her books about, all that stuff. Well listen, congratulations to taking your first step to self care. <laughs> You're welcome. My Sarah J Maas obsession is so bad at this point I literally need two shelves dedicated to her which if that doesn't explain to you how much I love this woman, I don't know what will. So Sarah J Maas has a new book called House of Earth and Blood that is coming out by the time I upload this video. So it should be up March 3rd. That is when this book is released. This is the beautiful arc that Yasmin from Yasmin the Reader sent to me all the way from Australia. So she is an angel literally sent from above. I will link her channel down below and everything if you want to go give her channel a try. But in honor of this book, I felt like it would just be fitting to do a video all about Sarah J Maas because when I tell you I love that woman with all my heart, I love that woman with all my heart. So let's start off by talking about her Throne of Glass series. The first book in the Throne of Glass series is obviously Throne of Glass. The second book, which I actually don't own is Crown of Midnight. The third book is Air of Fire. The fourth book is Queen of Shadows. The fifth book is Empire of Storms. The sixth book is Tower of Dawn. And last but definitely not least is Kingdom of Ash, which is very bright and very yellow. And she also has a prequel to this entire series, which is the Assassin's Blade. In her A Court of Thorns and Roses series, the first book is A Court of Thorns and Roses, which I also have the beautiful special edition behind me while I am filming this because it's so pretty, I just felt like it needed to be up there. And that was gifted to me by the amazing Christina, and I will also link her channel down below. The next book in the series is A Court of Mist and Fury, and the last book in the series is A Court of Wings and Ruin. We also have the novella, which is A Court of Frost and Starlight. Then she has a DC comic book, which is Catwoman which I actually haven't read yet but it's a signed copy and I saw it at Barnes & Noble and I was like okay I need that. Now I know reading all of her books can seem very very daunting. I actually haven't even read Tower of Dawn or Kingdom of Ash yet and that really has nothing to do with like how many books there are in the series. It honestly just has to do with the fact that I'm terrible with closure and I don't want to leave those characters in that world and so I'm just trying to hold on to it for as long as I possibly can. Since House of Earth and Blood is coming out soon I thought it would be fun to just film this video and talk pretty much aimlessly because I'm gonna be honest I have no idea how I'm gonna format this video so let's talk Throne of Glass. I feel like I really don't need to give a synopsis of what Throne of Glass is about. It's basically about this assassin who is enslaved and she's given a second chance in order to do this competition and become the king's personal assassin. This just follows her story and everything that fucking goes down which let me tell you is a lot and that's pretty much all you really need to know because I personally feel like it's best going into her books without really knowing that much especially because it's so hard to avoid spoilers on book twitter and book two and just everything especially because this series has been out for so freaking long. Throne of Glass is Sarah J Mass's debut novel so when you read this it's going to be very 2010-2011 YA. However, I do feel like this is done way better than most of the YA fantasy novels that were released at the time. There's a lot of world building obviously in the first book and I know a lot of people found that pretty boring. However, everything that happens in this book, even the smallest details, someone could literally forget to tie their shoelace and it'll have something to do with like book three. So it's very important to push through the world building and the slow pace that this book is in order to pretty much enjoy the rest of the series. Happy that I really pushed through with this series because the way Sarah J Maas just like takes my money now because of how much I love her books is kind of alarming, not gonna lie. If I were to recommend a series to start with by Sarah J Maas, it would 100% be Throne of Glass, mostly because it was her debut novel, so you really get to see her writing pretty much evolve as she grows as an author. You get to see the way her world building really affects the story as a whole. You get to see her characters grow with her, which I think is an amazing touch. As you read the series, it does go from YA to new adult, so if you aren't really interested in new adult, maybe don't pick this up, but also pick it up because it's J Mass and like you're probably gonna like it. I know it seems like a lot to get through now however I'm extremely grateful that I started off by reading this series first. If I had to pick a favorite book in the Throne of Glass series considering I haven't read Tower of Dawn and Kingdom of Ash yet right now it would be 
Air of Fire. I love this book so much. It's the third book in the series and this just was everything I needed and more. This book is what made me fall in love with Sarah J Maas. Hands down, this is the reason why I love her book so much. This is the reason why I love her writing so much. I found her series when I was just going through a lot in life in general and so reading this just took my mind off of absolutely everything and I loved every second of it. I ate this shit up. So moving on to her other series, A Court of Thorns and Roses. Now this series actually is a trilogy. It's not as long as the Throne of Glass series. And in my opinion, this series actually has a lot more romance than Throne of Glass. Whereas Throne of Glass has romance, it's a lot more fleshed out throughout the entire series than squished in three books, which listen, I'm a romance fiend. I love romance in my books. Sarah G. Maas has some of my favorite romances. And and this series is definitely something. Whereas Throne of Glass goes from YA to new adult, this is just a new adult book completely. It definitely has a good amount of smut and I just love the characters. I love the characters. I'm not gonna say which characters I love because no spoilers, but I love the characters. <laughs> My favorite in this series is not going to come as a shock to many people because it's most people's favorite book in this series and that is A Court of Mist and Fury. This book was just like chef's kiss. I feel like Sarah J Maas really peaked with this novel. Don't know how she did it but she did and we love to see it. Then I also wanted to talk about the novella because a lot of people have a lot of shit to say about the novella and if I'm being real I didn't mind it. I think I gave this four out of five stars. It was a novella so I wasn't expecting anything super fleshed out. I mean Look at how short that is. Like, that's nothing for a Sarah J Maas book. It gave me the bit of closure that I needed, but it also set me up for the continuation of this series, which I believe is coming out next year. So currently those are the Sarah J Maas series that are completed fully and that you can start reading right now if you wanted to. I do think that Throne of Glass is the best series to start off with. It's just such an amazing series and it's also been out for so long. So I feel like you'd be spoiled way more for that series than you would with her other books. So there's multiple factors in choosing which Sarah J Maas series you kind of want to start with. If you enjoy romance a lot more and you kind of want more romance than anything else, I would recommend reading Akatar first because that series definitely has a lot more romance in it and it's a lot more packed together than the Throne of Glass series. But if you are more of like just a plot based person and you really want an intense plot with a lot of plot twists and a lot of character development, then I would highly recommend starting Throne of Glass. That series is definitely very long so the romance is fleshed out throughout the entire series. There's also a lot of character differences in my opinion. The main character in Avatar is just a lot more soft-spoken and just kinder. You know, it's a, just a different vibe. Whereas in Throne of Glass, the main character is just bad bitch 24 seven. You don't fucking mess with her ever, period. So there's definitely a few options there if you are conflicted between where you should start. Or honestly, you could be a complete rebel and just start Crescent City or House of Earth and Blood. And then if you like this, you could definitely just move on to one of her older series if you actually enjoy her writing. The only reason I would recommend reading her other books first is to kind of just get a feel of her writing and a feel of her world building. But I also know a lot of people don't give a fuck. So if you really don't care, do whatever you want. Read Crescent City first, read Throne of Glass first, read Akatar first, it doesn't really matter. However, it is just important to keep in mind that Throne of Glass is her first series, so it's gonna read a little different than Akatar, and it's definitely reading a lot different in Crescent City. I am actually a little bit into this book right now, and it is so good so far. There are also some other differences that I would consider. House of Earth and Blood is actually adult urban fantasy which is so different than young adult fantasy and new adult fantasy. So if you're not really a huge huge fan of fantasy as a whole but you do like urban fantasy, maybe I would just skip Avatar and Throne of Glass and just read Crescent City. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like this video is low-key kind of a hot mess because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. No matter how you decide to start reading Sarah J Maas's books, her books have a very special place in my heart personally and I just hope that they can have that same effect for you. I honestly just love everything about them. If you are in the mood to read a new series and you want something different and you've never picked up a Sarah J Maas book before, I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. I want you guys to let me know in the comments if you've read any of Sarah's books how you felt about them, if you stand, if you don't stand. Try not to write any spoilers though because I'm sure there are going to be many people who have not read her books in the comments so we don't want any spoilers. Also I haven't read Tower of Dawn and Kingdom of Ash and I'm not trying to be spoiled either so let's keep it to a minimum. So yeah that was basically me just aimlessly talking about Sarah J Maas for 
a very long time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stayed and really just listened to me talk about Sarah J Maas aimlessly for the past however many minutes this video is, you're a real one. I love you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe all if you want to. And I will see you all in my next video. <laughs> East and the West, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest. All night long, she putting me to the test. Got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest.